Waiguchi ka kalsa, waiguchi ki fate. Sikhs need to beware of this Garuka Singh, who's a director over at SikhNet and a Yogi Bhajan follower. Especially Sikh parents need to keep their children away from this guy. Garuka's behavior was completely sacrilegious and a bad influence on our young Sikh children there when he visited the UK here this summer. And I'll show you why. The first example is how Garuka Singh shamefully displayed these, what Sikhnet calls these hot socks. And you can see him displaying him here while he's speaking in front of the guru. This is completely unacceptable. He was confronted by the Granti, evidently, there at this Gurdwara in the UK, and he just fluffed this off. This is completely beyond me in the presence of Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib. It takes people's attention away from the Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib and focuses the attention on his, quote, hot socks. Here you can see here are the comments they made on SikhNet, boasting about how Garuka Singh displayed these hot socks, as they call them. This is all part of this yogi bhajan nonsense, this sexual energizing yoga that yogi bhajan followers promote and trying to get our youth involved with. The next example of how Garuka Singh is a really bad influence on our Sikh youth is how he insulted our guru by insisting that a, a young woman who is wearing tight pants be allowed into the Gurdwara. Now, Agranti had confronted this young woman and told her that she needed to come back with proper dress. This is completely appropriate that the Granti should confront this young woman. And I wish that more Grantis would stand up for this. People should be dressed appropriately without this sexual connotations. They should come before the Guru with all humbleness. And the Granti was totally within his rights and duty to confront this young woman. And Garuka Singh, with his arrogance comes there and tells the Granti he's wrong. This is completely unacceptable and teaches these young youth that they can just go around and, and present themselves with this Western dress that is sexual in orientation. Now, you can read about all of this in detail, how SikhNet has published this article by Garuka Singh on their website. And I'll put a link to it there. It's just deplorable how Garuka Singh insults Sikhs and continues to do this biadbi against Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib G. Now, I had brought this to Sikhs' attention before Garuka Singh went to the UK. And I want to also bring it to the Sikhs' attention in this video how Garuka Singh boasts about getting Yogi Bhajan's fingernail clippings and using them as a magic talisman and putting them these, these Yogi Bhajan fingernail clippings inside his nip nail. This is completely sacrilegious. It just shows the complete arrogance and self-entitlement these Yogi Bhajan people do. They practice. You can see here the article. I'll put another link to this article there, um, which was written up in the 3HO uh, newsletter, where Garuka Singh talks about how he got these fingernail clippings and how they would give him a lot of power, Yogi Bhajan told him. Yogi Bhajan was a rapist. He was a corrupt, evil yogi. Let there be no doubt about it. And when Garuka Singh says we shouldn't criticize, they only use that as convenient method to try to stop people from uh, getting the truth out there. Garuka Singh had no 
qualms about criticizing the Garanti. They only use this argument about criticism to fit, to fit their convenience. But Sikhs need to stand up and they need to protest against these, this Biadbi by this Sikhnet and this Garuka and these other 3HO people. It's just getting worse and worse. Garuka Singh has a long history with illicit drugs when he, before he got into uh, Yogi Bhajan's group. And I think he's maybe having some type of relapse or uh, a flashback with this LSD he used to take all the time. It's just really bad. He, they, Sikhnet and these 3 ho people, they go out of their way to just slap Sikhs in their face. It's just really deplorable. Here you can see Garuka there in London. I confronted him two years ago when I was living there. And he sat there at the Sikh Missionary Society and taught this yoga and proceeded to tell Sikhs about how yoga was all part of Sikhi. It's complete false. Completely false. He told me that I was angry. Well, I am angry. I'm angry that these 3HO people are being sacrilegious and committing this biadvi against Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib Ji and the Sikhs. It needs to stop. And Sikhs need to stand up and protest against it. Now this is a great book that really opened my eyes. Sikhism and Tantric Yoga is written by a Dr. Shalochan Singh who's a Sikh scholar and historian. He met with Yogi Bhajan and was with him for many months back in 1977. This book is available on my website for free. You just can download it and read the real true history about how Yogi Bhajan and these three HL people are trying to subsume Sikhs and get the young Sikhs into this Bhajanism. That's the only word for it. It's a religion that these Bhajanists have started around Yogi Bhajan. They worship Yogi Bhajan and it needs to stop. We need to excommunicate them or get them out of Sikhi or they need to change. There's just no two ways about it. They need to ship up, shape up or ship out. SeekNet continues to insult Sikhs around the world. This was an article that came out about a year ago on how the UK Sikhs in their gurdwaras wanted to stop gay marriages in their gurdwaras, which is completely correct. There's no place for gay marriage in Sikh gurdwaras. Yet SeekNet published this article which blasted the UK gurdwaras and the Sikhs there for being against gay marriage. Why is Sikhnet coming out against these sacrilegious practices? My theory, my, my thinking is, is that Sikhnet and these Yogi Bhajan people are against humanity. That's the basic thing. They want to subsume Sikhi into this Bhajanism. Now here you can see Garuka and some of the other Sikhnet uh, leaders and directors. Also some of these um, other Yogi Bhajan followers here at Yogi Bhajan's death place. They continually worship Yogi Bhajan and this idol of Baba Sirichan, this murti of Baba Sirichan that you can see there in the distance. You can see Garuka Singh chanting these Yogi Bhajan mantras and doing this biadbi against Sikhi. Guru Gobind Singh Ji told us not to worship at the graves of the dead, yet they do this continually. They worship at Yogi Bhajan's death place and they're now starting this whole 10 year anniversary of Yogi Bhajan's death. They're gonna have this big statue of Yogi Bhajan there, a bronze statue of him and worship there. It's just really deplorable how they go on about this. Now you can see there, more about how they put, this is just recently on his birthday, they started this 40 days of meditation and worship of Yogi Bhajan until the day, the 10th anniversary of his death. You can see this, they put pictures of him there 
and they put these idols of Baba Srichan. Our Sikh Gurus told us not to worship idols, not to worship at the graves of the dead. There you can see more pictures of this. And they do this all the time. It's not like just a one-time occurrence. More pictures of this Baba Srichan idol. Now, recently I protested at an event that this Gurmukh car held a fire puja there at her yoga ashram down there in, in uh, Los Angeles, Hollywood. And I made these signs. I think they're very appropriate here. This is part of the Sikh code of conduct. It says, a Sikh's worship should be rendered only to the one timeless being and to no god or goddess. There it says it right there. This is the way Sikhs should act. Sikh code of conduct states, for a Sikh, the Guru Granth and the ten Guru's word alone should be a Sikh's saviors and holy objects of veneration. Not idols of Baba Sirichan, not idols of Yogi Bhajan. This has to stop. Sikhs need to protest all of these biyadvis that are being done by 3HL. They bow, they prostrate themselves. This is that same place. You can match these photos up with the other ones that I just showed you, and you can see that this is the same place where they're worshiping Yogi Bhajan's death place. Right there, prostrating themselves before Yogi Bhajan. This is just completely against Sikh teachings. And Garuka, these Sikh net people, they're out there to convert your youth into this Bhajanism. They know that the youth are attracted to this Western thinking of immorality, of doing these uh, things that are sexual in nature, and they know that by the Sikhnat people and Garuka know that by appealing to that, that they'll get them into this Bhajanism. Don't let them do this. Keep your youth away from this Garuka and this Sikhnat people. They just recently had this Yogi Bhajan uh, dance party, and they had Gurmastik had his children up there doing this Bhangara in front of this huge Yogi Bhajan portrait. It's just outrageous and very, very disturbing. Gramustic is one of those directors over there at Sikhna too. A long time, Dr. Trilochan Singh has been saying that all of this Yogi Bhajan sacrilege will lead to complete moral and physical debauchery, as he says in his book. And it's coming to fruition. These Yogi Bhajan people are getting worse and worse, and they're taking Sikh youth down with them. Yogi Bhajan was a rapist. He abused his his students. And you can see here this article in Eugene Register Guard how this Premka Khalsa, who was raped by Yogi Bhajan, talks openly about how Yogi Bhajan abused his power. He raped his secretaries. This is a lo the, the lawsuit that was brought against him in 1984. It was quashed and um, completely uh, swept under the rug by this Sikh Nat and all the other Yogi Bhajan people. They don't want you to know about this. They don't want you to know that Yogi Bhajan was really a rapist. Yogi Bhajan wouldn't even appear at the depositions. I know, because I was on security. And he, he would go to La Scala every day. So he could have gone to those depositions and told the truth, but he got his Khalsa doctors to give him um, these excuses that he had bad heart. Anyway, Yogi Bhajan did all these porno drawings. You can see here they're phallic drawings. Really disgusting. He writes power there where the, on these drawings. I have these drawings, and he, Yogi Bhajan gave them to me. He wanted, he wanted um, me to put these out there in the public and show, thank goodness I didn't. After I started to become more aware of his corruption, then I got more into Sikhi, and I saw what a corrupt rapist he really is. The Yogi Bhajan people put his portrait up there with the Siddhi Guru Granth Sabh when they do Prakash and their Gurdwara. That's an ugly tantric painting that looms over these Yogi Bhajan people, looms over the Dabar of the Siddhi Guru Granth Sabh there in Espanola. Now, I mentioned this recent um, fire puja, Yagna, that Gurmukhar did down in L.A. 
This is completely against Sikh teachings, again. And SikhNet has come out in support of this and endorsing it. This Ekon Karkar, who you saw back there in one of those pictures there, she said that uh, in the uh, comment on my YouTube video, she said, it's perfectly OK for Sikhs to do this. Yogi Bhajan without it a star. He did that often. SikhNet supports Gurmukh Kar. And you can see here in their website, they promoted her. This is some of the unseek like behavior. Again, they're doing at the summer solstice, bowing to stones and to murtis and idols. It goes on and on. Yogi Bhajan people there with big statue of Shiva they did in Rishikesh, bowing before this idol of Baba Surichan. Again, Gurmukhar doing these fire pujas there in Rishikesh. This, goes, this is not a one-time thing. This is a constant um, practice that this Gurmukhar is doing, and she's being supported by these three HO people. She has this red ruby ring on her that's the size of a doorknob, and then a, and then a diamond or stone bindi or tilak on her forehead there, which is the, represents the eye of Shiva which is a devotion to the Hindu god Shiva. These are completely against Sikh teachings. More 3 h hours with these um, tilaks or um, tikas on their foreheads after they've done pujas. This is a picture of that puja there down there in LA. This, they had Swami there who's part of this RSS fanatic Hindu group that wants nothing more than to bring Sikhs into their um, Hindu vata, they call it. So this was another one of the protest signs I had down there. It says in the Sikh Code of Conduct, a Sikh does not believe in homa, pujas, lighting of ritual fire, or pouring intermittently clarified butter, food grains, etc. into it for propitiating gods for the fulfillment of a purpose. Gurmukh and these three HO people are in direct violation of the Sikh Rahat Mariyata. These codes of conduct were written for a reason. They're not just out there for fun. Sikhs are not Hindus. We do not believe in this. Hindus should be doing their thing, and Sikhs need to be doing our practices. Gurmukhar is saying that she's a Sikh when, in fact, she's doing all these Hindu practices. I don't know why she just doesn't change her name to Devi Dasi or something like that. You can see here, she, this is her in her yoga studio, and they've got this huge statue of Shiva there behind her, or this Murti, and there's, she's sitting there with this Swami and going on. This is that Ekon Karkar who says, right here, she says, nothing wrong with a Sikh participating in sacred ceremony from any other religious tradition. This is a direct quote from Ekon Karkar, who's one of the directors over there at SikhNet. This was a, a funeral, uh, last rites Hindu puja that did, did for Yogi Bhajan. And that was there in Rishikesh. Um, when he died in 2004. So SikhNet has tried to hide this. Sikh News Network did a tremendous story on revealing that this is the truth. You can see Yogi Bhajan's family there, his wife, his two sons, participating, some other 3 HO people, participating in this Hindu last rite ceremony where they put Yogi Bhajan's ashes there in the Ganges River. These are all practices that are against the Sikh Rahat. And SikhNet doesn't want you to know about them. You can see here that the Pramatna Kirtan newsletter even talks about this. Puja Yogi Ji's Ash Immersion is down there on the list of things. And the, the Yogi Bhajan people got the Pramatna Kirtan Ashram people to de delete this newsletter after some time. They make artifacts and try to sell Yogi Bhajan's garments. This just goes on and on and on. Yogi Bhajan was a friend of Indira Gandhi. He associated with his Jagjit Namdari. This was him and the Espanola there, where they were commiserating there. And by the way, if you don't know, the Namdaris believe in, a, in this person as their guru. They put the city of Guru Granth Sahib in a closet. The Yogi Bhajan people use Sikh symbols to make money. Anyway, we're out of time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Watch some of my other videos too if you get a chance. Why you could you call Sa? Why you could you keep